Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Now, inside your settings, you're going to see your second option where it's going to say software update available. If you don't see that, don't worry about it. But first, before we go into the update, make sure to back up your iPad just in case something goes wrong. So the first option where you're going to see your name or your device's name, just make a backup in your iCloud. If you don't have more space on your iCloud for free, you get five gigs. So if you don't want to spend money, it's fine. Just hook it up to your computer and make your backup there. So on PC, you would use iTunes and on Mac, you can use Finder for that. As well, if you're having any problems during the update, or if you can't update it for some reason, try to do it from your computer and that should fix any glitches. But assuming you did your backup, you're ready to go, and maybe you don't have this software update available option, just scroll down, you're gonna see general. Then under general, your second option will say software update. From software update, we should see this, iPad OS 15.7. We can go on and tap on download and install. It will ask you for a passcode if you have one installed, and then it's just gonna download. Downloading time depends on your internet speed. Once it's done downloading, you can just press uninstall now. It's just gonna verify the update. We're gonna see a black screen, an Apple logo, and a loading bar. As mentioned, you would see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and it's gonna go once and then another time. The second time is gonna go a lot faster. Once that's done, you're just gonna see this, swipe up, and you're done with the update. So again, it shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes. It could take longer if you have slower internet. And it's good to keep in mind that there's several generations of every single iPad. That means for iPad mini, from iPad Air, there's several different generations and not all of them will be able to update to the latest iOS. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.